Hey guys, I am still under a huge Super Bowl shock. Let's forget about it. Surprisingly, for viewers from other countries, now is the season for entrance exam for universities or high schools in Japan. In fact, there's a massive reform on the unified test for the entrance exam for universities. So, I'm gonna explain the system and the features of the new English test for viewers outside of Japan. I've already solved the English test. So, I will show my score to the viewers, especially those who take that or, or those who are going to take that in the future. Before I start, I want to caution if you are educated outside of Japan and want to go to universities in Japan, you will have a different test. <laughs> In Japan, there's standardized tests for the university admissions like SAT in the US used to be National Center Test. However, the National Center for University Entrance Examination announced a huge reform on previous tests to focus more on the decision, creativity, and expression skills. This test is used mainly for public university admission and applicants will be evaluated by the score of the unified test and the other tests individually organized and held by each university. Now, many private universities also accept the score of standardized tests. Universities in Japan usually don't evaluate applicants by the grade at the school or activities. Of course, there are many subjects and the applicants will choose the subject they need to take. Then, let me talk about the English test. The name of the subject is foreign language and there are also other options such as Chinese, Korean, French, or German. But almost all applicants choose English because it's the only option for them. The full score of the former exam was 250, which was consisted of 200 points for the reading test and 50 points for the listening test. And the reading test had a pronunciation section, grammar section, and reading section. However, in the new exam, 100 points will be given for each test, and the reading test become the real reading test by eliminating other sections. I used to teach English to high school students at a craft school, so I'm gonna talk about some of my thoughts and opinions. You can download the tests from the link below, so I'd recommend downloading them before the upcoming part. Starting off from the reading test, the first section is quite casual. Part A is the questions about the conversation on the text message, and I think it's pretty easy. Part B also has common and easy English comprehension skills by solving questions about the fan club of a band. I think the difference from the previous exam appears from the second section. The question is about a band audition and evaluations from the judges that applicants have to not only understand language would also analyze the situation. I found that it often asks what is the fact and the letters are bolded and underlined to emphasize the meaning of the questions. It also asks the difference between fact and opinion. Applicants have to distinguish that. It seems quite difficult for high school students and I think few of them can do that. The rest of the question is not a difficult, I guess. In total, I had three wrong answers for the reading test and lose 8 points, so my score was 92 out of 100. Speaking of the listening test, section 1 and 2 were almost the same as the previous test. Section 3 is not that difficult except for number 13. A man and a woman are talking about where to put their luggage and applicants have to consider which item should be put first by organizing information in a short time. I wonder if there's such a clever high school student in this country. Maybe there is, I guess. 
Section 5 is important for those who want to study in universities. You will hear a lecture about happiness and future. Number 27 to 31 is just like taking notes. I like this part, and though I got two wrong answers. Section 6 was not different from the previous test. I guess my total score on the listening test was 86 out of 100, so my total score on English is 178 out of 200. Now, let's sum up my thoughts. The first theme is read or listen and then think. It needs the aim of the reform. It would be great for high school students to try to do that before they enter university. Second, UK, UK, UK. I don't understand why many stories are set in the UK or a person from the UK appears. So generally speaking, high school students in Japan learn American English. But I know some students like Britain. Most Japanese who have never been there, like me, have a good impression. And I guess that is why this stuff happened. Or maybe there is a contract between two countries. However, according to my experience, I'd like to say to high school students that people from UK say, I'm from England, or I'm from Scotland, or I'm from Wales, rather than I'm from the UK. So when we introduce someone from there, we say in the same way to keep that in mind. Lastly, I have a message for high school students, that is, entrance exam might decide your career, but it doesn't decide what you are. When I took the National Center exam, my score on reading was 159 out of 200, and and that a listening was 50. Actually, I could not apply to the university I wanted to go to the most with this score. However, just keep studying at a different university and went through many events such as Model UN and monthly English course at UV. And at year end, I could get then 7.0 on IELTS. So don't worry about which university to go to. Just keep doing it. I wish you good luck. Viewers from outside of Japan, how did you feel? I think it's not a difficult test because it is set for the average level. Please feel free to leave some comments. See you! Iron Core just released a new single, Faces, on January 5th. It will be available on every streaming services like iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, and among others. There's also a documentary about songwriting on the iBumpCore channel. Please check it out.